So Rolling Square has just put out the new Tau 2. Now, for those of you that are like, what's a Tau and what's a Tau 2? Well, uh, this, this, this is, this is the box of the Tau 2 right here. And this is the original Tau right there. And it is, you can see, it's a very, very, very small keychain wearable battery pack. So the original Tau, Tau from Rolling Square was 1400 milliamp hours, I believe it was. And what's cool about it is you guys can see it right here is because it was designed for keychains, uh, you would hook a keychain ring on here and have your keys on it. Now I wouldn't have, you know, 7,000 keys on it because it weighs a lot. But if you had a normal amount of keys on it, uh, this would connect into its dock uh, and stick there via magnet. That's the magnet on the top right there and would allow it to charge and 1400 milliamp is going to charge fairly quickly. So for me, every time I brought my keys back in the house with me, uh, I would just put this up on the keychain. It's a little dock and it would charge. So it always had a full charge because I would always put my keys on this. So that that's the original Tau right there. So very, very nice. 14, four, I, I believe it was 1400 milliamp. Yeah. 1400 milliamp says right on the back. You know, there you go. You guys can read that possibly 1400 milliamp hours. This is the Tau 2. Now I've opened it, haven't used it, but I have opened it because I wanted to see it. And it does come again in a couple of different colors. I do like that the original came in this green, but we got ours in a, I want to say it's a dusty bluey gray kind of color. Now, first off, you can see by putting them side by side, they're very close inside. I would in size. I would say the Tau two is smaller in regards to width and height for sure, but it definitely is a tad bit thicker. I would. I would. I prefer this form factor. I'd rather have it a little bit thicker than it be bigger. Not that this was big by any means, but the bonus of the Tau two. Number one, uh, same kind of magnet connection. Now, my guess would be it's the same connector. So I would think that I should be able to connect this into the original dock if I so chose. Um, but this one goes from 1400 milliamp hours, which was on the original Tau, to 2000 milliamp hours, which is, which is very nice. So you actually get what I think is a smaller unit. It may not be if you looked at the actual width, which is probably fairly close, but you go from 1400 to 2000. Now, a lot of us are probably thinking 2000 milliamp battery. What's what, what good is that? Well, don't think of this as a necessarily a battery brick replacement. So for instance, on my last trip, I brought a 27,000 milliamp battery. And the reason I brought that is just in case we got into a scenario in a hotel where they didn't have very many USB C ports or power plugs or anything like that that I could still charge three things, right? I could charge my phone, I could charge my watch, I could charge my my action camera, et cetera, et cetera. I could charge my batteries in my other camera with a little dock. That's what those are for. The Tau, because it's with you all the time, think of this more as an emergency battery, right? Because most of us have our keys with us all the time, you know, you're, you're going somewhere and all of a sudden it's six o'clock at night, seven o'clock at night, and you realize your battery's in trouble on your phone. You plug this in 2000 milliamp batteries that should easily get you through to when you get home. Uh, you're like me and you travel a lot and I have my big battery in my motorcycle or I have my big battery in the car and we stop for lunch and I go into the restaurant and I realize, oh, look, my phone's battery is not doing so well. So got my keys, I can plug this in, give my phone a little bit of a top up. That's kind of nice. So I don't think I would think of this as a big battery replacement. I think of it more as an emergency battery that you just, you have with you kind of all the time, which I really like. And for me, uh, having the original Tau, I usually carried this on my car keys. But now that I have two of them, I'm gonna carry this one on my car keys and I'm gonna carry this one on my motorcycle. So that I have that I have both of them kind of rocking. 
Now, if you look at inside here, uh, the dock is, I would say the dock itself, like the, the charging port cable, whatever you want to call this, right? This kind of just sits like this and you'll see it just kind of, it kind of hangs off of it, right? So you'd have your keys. This is why I say, you know, you don't want to be one of those people that has, you know, the, the jail ring set of keys, which has like, you know, 700 keys on it because it is still stuck in here with the magnet. The magnet's pretty strong, but if you have a lot of keys, number one, maybe don't. Uh, number two is that, uh, that's going to be an issue. So that's kind of, that's kind of cool, I guess. Now, the other thing is that, uh, this has no different than the original towel. The towel actually had these, uh, pieces that you just kind of, you took out and you'll see that this was a lightning slash USB, uh, sorry, micro USB connector. So it's a two in one. And then on the other side, which I'll click this one back in here, which somehow, Right, there it goes. The other side, and you kind of had to have some nails for this because you had to get your finger in here to kind of pull it out. And then this side was USB-C. So that's kind of that, you know, the three charging cables. You had micro USB, you had lightning, and you had USB-C. Now the other one, the only one that you don't have is uh, mini USB-C or mini USB because, well, let's be honest, nobody really uses that anymore. And if you do, um, I don't know what to tell you. Now on the Tau 2, uh, same idea, but you will notice that you're like, where, where do you take the cables out? Well, on this one here, you actually have to pull this cap off. Uh, I like it and I don't like it at the same time. I kind of like that one, but you did need to have some fingernails to be able to get into that one. This one, you just kind of pull the cap off and you'll actually see same idea. You have access to the, to the cables on this side. I'm not sure which I like better. Uh, I think this one is just easier to get access to because you don't need fingernails to get into it. Now, the other thing that this one does, and I, and I didn't even know that it did this, and I'm gonna just bring the manual out because that's something that um, is kind of important. Uh, this is the user manual that it comes with. And you will see here, it talks about the connectors. Uh, it has a dual lightning USB. It has open hook. I guess that's kind of nice too. I, did, I didn't even think of that, is that because it has this ability for the cap to come off, uh, if you wanted to let somebody else borrow it for whatever reason, their phone's dying or whatever, um, or let's say I wanted to charge my action camera on my motorcycle while I was eating, I could bring my keys with me and just kind of pop this off and then throw this in the back of the bike with this attached to the camera and it's still charged. So I, maybe, I, yeah, okay, I like that better now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, installation, they talk about how to install it again. You know, you get a nice long cable, which is good because this cable does have to go from wherever you're putting your keys kind of straight down to like above a power, a power wall outlet, I guess you want to call it. Um, charging with plug pass through. So it does have a nice, it says it has a pass through. So if you, for instance, uh, it says if you inserted the USB-C cable into a charging plug and the lightning slash micro USB into the device, you would get pass through. So that means you could charge your phone and the battery at the same time, which is really great for those of us that have like an iPhone. And it's not great for anybody that has a USB-C device, but for those of us that have an iPhone or a product that takes uh, micro USB, you can use that pass through because at night you could charge your phone and this up at the same time. Uh, now, the other thing that I thought and I, and I may be completely, completely wrong, but that's, that's actually all it talks about. Um, I, no, so I'm wrong. See, this is what I thought. Digital ID. So it talks about this. Make sure you know where the NFC reader of your device is. I'm uh, pretty sure mine's on the bottom. Uh, NFC tag set next, get near the Tau logo to be redirected to something. Share it. Create your profile to share it. Okay, so let's, let's, let's do this. We're going to do this live. Okay. It does have these, these little QR codes. I'm just going to take those off. So this is charged. I did charge it last night. And there is, as you guys can see, a little tiny uh, QR code. So I'm going to bring up my phone and you want to have a phone, I guess that has NFC. So we're going to bring up my camera here and we're going to find this sure it. Oh, scan the QR code, discover all shirts features. Oh, so it's not actually taking us to, come on, you can do it. I thought maybe it just takes us to there, 
Oh, so it takes us to a video, air card plus sure it, instructions and install guide. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna watch this and then I'll come back and we'll we'll go through the setup. Okay, so I just came upstairs because I wanted to. And I didn't set up the digital card, but my computer wasn't downstairs, so I kind of wanted to see it on a big screen. Anyways, I think it's like really, really simple and, and you don't really need anything. Now, the air card that Rolling Square has as well uh, also has this ability to do a digital business card. And as far as I know, I'm going to just kind of do this pointing the screen at you guys so you may be able to see this. As far as I know, you just kind of take this and put this up somewhere. Maybe. There it is. So you see it popped up here. That's where the NFC is on this device. And it says open up your share. Oops, I got to do it again. There it is. Pop. And what happens is you get this screen that talks about activating it. And all you ought to do is put it, put in your information. So it says, you know, first name. So I'm gonna put in my first name, last name. Yep. My email address, very cool. Uh, a password if you so want. Uh, I'm gonna put, well, I guess you, you need a you need a password for sure so i'm going to put in a password so i'm going to i'm going to just choose my own here okay submit save password what happens is you get a screen that just kind of looks like that now i can put a picture in there which i may i'm just going to hit the little edit button and i'm going to maybe tap on and i can say photo library uh i wonder can i just can i maybe just maybe just take a picture click uh take a photo ready yeah that's good stuff use photo I'm guessing it's uploading the photo because you can see it's got this weird little square thing going around and around. It probably has to send it up to the server. There it is. Boom. Perfect. And you are currently using the beta version of Shared. If you encounter any problems, do that. So we got me. We got offers if you want. But now, as far as I know, you actually see on there it says add contact. So if this was somebody else's phone, you could actually just take this hold it up to their thing they get your email address they get your name they can get your phone number etc etc uh that's that's kind of slick it's a nice little added bonus to the tau 2. anyways you know what i think these come in about like i don't know 39 dollars us so i think that's a very cool cool product and uh it is definitely something that i carry around with me all the time be it the Tau 1 or the Tau 2. Now, be aware, you can still, as far as I know, get the Tau 1. Uh, I think it comes in like $10 cheaper, about 29 bucks. But, you know what, you are losing milliamp hours and you are not getting the digital business card. So, for the extra 10 bucks, right? Extra 10 bucks. Seems like a cool deal. All right, guys, that's the Tau 2. And, uh, I think I think it's very cool. Rolling Square. I like them because they come up with products that are just different. I like that. All right, guys, links down below, and we'll talk to you guys later.